So, there has been news recently about Sly Cooper, but it's complicated, so let's talk about it. What's up guys, Kitty and Gaia here, and back with a brand new video about another one of our nostalgic pals, Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper has been on quite the hiatus over the past seven years. Once considered to be one of the best platformers of all time, with its stealth and combat mechanics, along with its intriguing and well-developed characters, the overall franchise became a great series to play, young or old. But Sly had hit some hard times. Sucker Punch had walked away from the IP to work on other projects, and it left the franchise in sort of a limbo. So Sony decided to give the IP to Sanzaru Games, a third-party developer. Now, you might recognize the studio as they led the work on Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon for the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. When Sanzaru had gotten the rights to Sly Cooper, they created Sly 4 Thieves in Time, where Sly and the gang has to go to the past and meet with his ancestors to stop a time-traveling villain. Thieves in Time has a lot of strong opinions about it. The game overall actually is pretty decent in the eyes of the fan base until the end that is. The game ended on sort of a plot twisty cliffhanger that creates a problem and then never solves it. Try to make sure I don't ruin it for anyone just in case if you still want to play it and don't want to get spoiled. But essentially, fans waited for game number 5 to be announced to see what happens. And game number 5 has never happened. This was a huge punch in the face to the Sly Cooper fans. People wanted some form of a resolution and they got nothing. I do believe that this has definitely impacted the overall outlook and experience on the game. Now there were rumors that were circulating that allegedly Sanzaru just wanted to end the game that way and walk away from the project just because they could. On top of that, the TV show is now seemingly being put on ice. Sly Cooper has been essentially silenced. There has been little to no evidence recently of any signs of a comeback. Until now, Matt Kramer, lead designer at Sanzaru Games, the company that worked on Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, was recently on Kinda Funny Games. He answered a bunch of questions about the industry and the work that he has done, until finally, close to the end of the interview, he was asked about Sly Cooper and the fact that he seemingly was left to die, followed by the question of when will he return home. And Matt had an interesting answer. And then Nanobiologist says, Greg, you promised us a Sly-related question today, but you didn't oh, read one. Boy. It's because the page flipped over. You're right. Nanobiologist had a PS on his question. Why have y'all forsaken Sly to ancient Egypt? When can he... No, 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 no. And finally be happy. Man. Of course, that's the cliffhanger ending to your game. That is. You know, Speaking I of cliffhangers, I got to pay for it. You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> uh, I, we, we love Sly. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll tell you a tidbit of information. So... Uh, the original first episode of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time was supposed to be Egypt okay. with Sly Tutankhamun. Yeah. Uh, and then Egypt was going to be uh, a DLC oh. episode. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that was always the the intention, and then yeah. you know we never got to to finish that out. Sure. Um, I do have the the you know in the team at, at Sanzaro, like we have the story, we have the whole episode done. Um, you know, in on paper form. Of course, of course. Um, but we would love to come back to that world. I, I, I hate leaving them there. It's yeah, the yeah, question yeah. we get the most. Sure. Um, so uh, all I can say is, you know, if if you guys want more Sly Cooper, let let Sony know. Herman Hall um, Cinema. Yeah, uh, but we're we're ready. We're always ready to dig into that. Awesome. And uh, it's it was a great franchise to work on, and and we really. Miss I hope it. you get back to it one so. day. I liked what you guys did a lot with it. Cool. Thank you. No yeah, problem. it was a great project. So this actually is quite an interesting way to word this statement. So let's break down what he said in parts. He says that the first episode was intended to take place in Egypt. Now, when he says episode, does he mean the initial game or the first set of missions within the game? This has been kind of muddy through media outlets that reported on this, but I want to be clear. He is referring to a set of missions in the world of Egypt. I am saying this because people on Twitter have assumed that episode meant an entire 
game. I just want to be clear, this was only for a specific portion of the game. But for whatever reason, that episode got scrapped. So they had planned to rework the Egypt mission into DLC to expand on what happened to Sly. However, it seems that Sony had scrapped the DLC due to the poor overall sales and mixed critic reception of Thieves in Time. Matt goes on to say that the whole episode is actually already written and ready to go. He goes on to say that he loves Sly Cooper and that if we, as fans, want more Sly Cooper games, you have to let Sony know. Sanzaro did not intend on ending the game on a cliffhanger. They wanted to show a resolution to Sly Cooper and what happened to him and the gang. Ladies and gentlemen, there's also important subtext here that isn't said but can be extrapolated from. See, there was supposed to be, like I said earlier, a Sly Cooper movie that was then turned into a TV series that was supposed to launch in October of 2019. And guess what? Nothing happened. No TV show, no movie, not even an announcement of cancellation. Nothing. On top of that, the resolution of Sly Cooper 4 was literally cancelled by Sony. As in, Sony felt that due to the poor performance of the game in sales, it wasn't even worth spending the money on the DLC. Granted, I will say that we shouldn't have had to buy a DLC pack to see the resolution of the story. Sanzaro isn't 100% clean from this, but it was rumored for a long time that it was Sanzaro that didn't want to continue the development of Sly and Sony just put the IP on the back burner. But according to this interview, Sony just seemingly did not want to continue the franchise. The subtext here is that, assumingly, Sony at this point in time has no or almost no plans for Sly Cooper. No remakes, no sequels, nothing. And in all honesty, after realizing that, it's pretty depressing. This was a franchise that I think redefined the platforming genre by adding fresh new ideas that broke the mold. The games had such an amazing soundtrack and the voice actors seemed to have such a blast voicing the characters. To see this franchise fall into irrelevancy over a poor performance of a single game is kinda unfair. In fact, Thieves in Time wasn't even a bad game. It scored a 75 critically on Metacritic, and especially considering that this was Sanzaru Games' first crack at the franchise, I think they did pretty good. But again, it begs the question, why was the DLC scrapped in the first place? Heck, why was the Egypt level scrapped to begin with? It leaves us with no answers to Sly overall, and leaves us fans with nothing but a bitter end to our thieving raccoon. Never hearing from him again. But we can change that. We could be the spark to the fire. We could start something together because the biggest takeaway from all this was what Matt said at the end about Sony. So uh, all I can say is, you know, if if you guys want more Sly Cooper, let, let Sony know. If we want Sly back in any way, shape or form, whether it be a sequel, a remaster, a reboot, or even a spinoff, we need to voice our opinions. If you want Sly Cooper back, then let's show our interest instead of just waiting and hoping for something. Go to social media, especially Twitter, and tweet about this with the hashtag Sly Cooper towards PlayStation and or Sony. Go to Facebook, join a group, talk about it. And if there isn't a group, make a group. Draw art and post it on Twitter. Maybe if you want to be fancy, make a speed art of it and post it on YouTube. Go to the Sly Cooper Reddit and start a thread. Make your opinion and voice heard. Talk about Sly Cooper so that Sony notices. Then maybe, just maybe, we can get Sly to come back in some way, shape, or form. Now, I would like to propose just one of many ideas to Sony. Want to know if these games will do well? Do a heartbeat check. Check to see if there is life left in this franchise. This is done by doing a Crash or Spyro-like remake. Sony has already made a remaster that seemed to be a heartbeat check back in October. Remember Medieval? Sony hired a third-party developer that wasn't even owned by Sony to make the Medieval remake. So guess what? The games that they're making in-house, like The Last of Us Part 2, aren't affected by the development. And they seem to have saved even more money by recycling voiceovers by remastering the PS1 audio, and it actually sounds really good. Even a budgeted remake of one game could be enough. I prefer, of course, a full-scale, revoiced, overall redone trilogy in the vein of Crash and Spyro, but I would take one game being remade for Sony to decide whether there is life in the franchise or not. If it flops in sales, then Sony would have a small loss and would be able to put the IP away with certainty knowing that it just doesn't work anymore. Or it could be wildly successful, make millions of dollars in revenue for Sony, and they have an old IP revitalized and back in action, ready for new adventures. But 
What do you guys think? Should Sly Cooper make a comeback? I think he should, but do you? Comment below and let me know. A huge thank you to all those who support the channel through Patreon and being a sponsor on the channel. If you'd like to help it out, check out the links in the description below where you can buy some CGE merch or become a Patreon. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming and nostalgic content. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.